What if The Lord of the Rings were directed by Christopher Nolan? The first film would open with a prologue narrated by Michael Caine as Gandalf. He explains the history of Middle-earth and the rings and warns about the dangerous time loop that is about to sweep the whole world into termination. In Nolan's vision, Sauron, played by Morgan Freeman, designed the ring in a way that gives its owner the ability to manipulate time itself. A person who puts on the ring will be able to slow down the flow of time, accelerate it, and even turn it in the opposite direction, creating time loops. In the past, Sauron used the ring to try to conquer Middle-earth. He was defeated, but hundreds of years later, he is strong again and looking for the ring to turn time in reverse and take revenge on the lost war. Then the film would jump forward to the Shire's cheerful atmosphere at Bilbo's birthday party. All of a sudden, the happy celebration is abruptly shattered by the arrival of the Nazgul. The deadly creatures plunge through the crowd, leaving a trail of destruction and death in their wake. Among the chaos, Gandalf is the only one who understands the gravity of the situation. He grabs Bilbo and Frodo, secretly whisking them away into the dense woods. A few other hobbits, including Sam, Merry, and Pippin, manage to flee with them too, while the whole Shire starts to collapse. In the woods, Gandalf explains to the hobbits that they must embark on a journey through time itself and deliver the ring as quickly as possible to a mysterious location called Rivendell, a place that was destroyed by Sauron hundreds of years ago, so it only exists in the past. Middle-earth is about to collapse now because someone has been changing the past, causing changes to the present. The hobbits need to go on the mission immediately. But why can't you do that, Gandalf? You're the smartest and the most powerful of all of us here. A wizard is never late, Frodo, nor is he early. He arrives precisely when he means to. What? I asked you why you can't carry the ring. What a hell, Gandalf. Without any response, Gandalf and Bilbo ride away deep into the forest, leaving the scared hobbits on their own. In Christopher Nolan's take on The Lord of the Rings, Frodo and his friends would meet Tom Bombadil, a beloved character from Tolkien's books who'd be played by Jason Momoa. Tom would reveal to Frodo the power of the ring, explaining to him how to travel back in time and where to find Rivendell. With the Nazgul in relentless pursuit, the hobbits embark on a race against time, both figuratively and literally. As they reach Rivendell in the past, the hobbits meet a bunch of other characters who decide to destroy the ring in Mordor and kill Sauron in the past before he even forged the ring. Among the brave characters are Aragorn, played by Christian Bale, Arvin played by Anne Hathaway, Legolas played by Joseph Gordon-Levitt, Gimli played by Matt Damon, and Boromir played by Tom Hardy. You want to know how I got these scars? Together, the characters will embark on a mission where every action in the past will have consequences in the present. They will navigate to Mordor, jumping in time to the past, and foreseeing the war started by Sauron hundreds of years ago. In the film, the ring would have a much bigger impact on Frodo's personality, turning him egocentric and even violent towards the Fellowship. Frodo will also find out that the ring gives him a connection to Sauron's dreams and memories, which will be both dangerous and useful for the Fellowship's mission. Christopher Nolan's take on The Lord of the Rings would be way more complicated in terms of plot. So if you don't understand the story after the first watch, no worries, you are not alone. Also, typically for Christopher Nolan, the music in the film will be too loud, not allowing the viewers to hear the dialogue. So true fans would need to see some review and recap videos on YouTube and then go and watch the film once again in the cinema. But nevertheless, Christopher Nolan's unique interpretation of The Lord of the Rings would offer audiences a mind-blowing cinematic experience and is sure to leave a lasting impression, provoking discussion and reflection long after the credits roll. Why do we fall, Frodo? So we can learn to pick ourselves up.